Hello and welcome to a little, I guess it's going to be like a little interview with Ollie really after his performance in King Kong just to sort of get his thoughts on how he's done. Um, as a lot of you will know, he finished second in the under 105s and 15th overall, was it? 16th. 16th overall, I wish it was which is a pretty good performance. You must not be bad, pretty happy bad. with that. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping to... Well, top 20 would have been good overall, so yeah. 16 is not bad for the first, yeah. first attempt. Yeah, I was unsure if Thomas was going to compete this year. He's yeah. like been the gold standard of the under 105 category for forever, really, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, he commented on that when I put my results up. Then he was like, oh, they were close, but then he like, but I were injured, so. Oh, so oh, something went down a bit. <laughs> Did he actually? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I thought it held fair play. That's a bit normal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I commented and said I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try him, so. Yeah, you had another, t- you had another fifteen or twenty in you at least on everything. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, can't complain overall, and getting a second place is uh, is really good. Yeah, All right. Let me get this on here. Uh, right, let's have a look at your lifts. So we'll go. I'll go to the one hundred and five, and then we can have a look. So the first event was the Crusher, which is. A 58 mil solid steel rolling handle. My worst event, but one of Ollie's best, would you say? Yeah, I think I could. Because I'd never used it before. It's a bit, when you, with any bit, new bit of kit, it's, it's always like a, you've got to try and figure out some sort of technique with it. And it was slightly yeah. different to the God's Grip. Definitely. The weight design and stuff. So, yeah. Um, it just feels different in the hand, doesn't it? Because of the weight yeah. of it. It's quite heavy, yeah. Yeah. So it's. Uh-huh. So you got yeah, 101.1. What did you have a target in mind coming up? Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to break 100. Yeah. So, um, I think it was quite. It was quite a solid lift as well, wasn't it? Really. It was all right. Yeah. I think what let me down on that, I'd because I'd done 107 with the gods of grip on the Monday. Yeah. I could <laughs> feel my thumb. My thumb was, <laughs> just went at full strength on Saturday. Yeah. I was thinking to myself, well, why did I do that on Monday? That was such a stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why did you do that? I don't know. I just think, oh, God, I'm feeling strong today. So I thought I just kept on going up and then thought, oh, I've actually got a competition on Saturday. So, yeah. But yeah, I it's think that seen, did hinder it. Quite the a bit. numbers are very similar for both handles. Like, I know Tiny, Tiny actually ended up lifting more on the Crusher, but he'd saved himself a lot of you. I know. <laughs> you know, if, if you think back and you're just like, what an idiot, but uh, yeah. we can't, can't do anything about it. I so. decided to The maddest thing of all is that Thomas beat you by, is it five grams? I don't know. <laughs> like, what? How, yeah. It's like he's, he knew what he'd lifted. I know. Five grams? That's, that's yeah. sickening, isn't it? <laughs> on all, all, the, all the lifts, I think he just, like, he picked me on. There weren't by there weren't many kilos in it, I don't think. But, yeah. Um, um yeah. It just shows sort of where you've come because he won the grip wars in twenty twenty three. Yeah. The one under yeah. one oh five class. And he was quite a bit ahead of you then, wasn't he? He was, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he came third overall, didn't he? I think. Yeah. I mean obviously it's a different set of events and everything, but it still shows your progression sort of this year to the be almost on a level with him pretty much now yeah i think i know he said he was a bit injured and whatever but you know. <laughs> considering I, I i'm still classing myself as still quite new to this because i'm yeah. still coming across bits of kit that i've never never seen never tried that's it and i found that the biggest thing with with grip is technique and once you figure out your technique for a certain bit of kit you're playing but yeah it is fig- it's the, figuring it out the the hardest bit, I think. The finished balls, like the classic example of that, isn't it? Yeah. See, I thought I'd, I'd come up with some sort of comfortable way of lifting that. Yeah. And then it got to it got to comp day, and it, it just weren't happening at all. It's difficult as well when you've already done two events that are quite thumb heavy, like the rolling handle pinch block, and then you're yeah. almost coming onto this and um. The bloody finish fall. I don't know if you can see it. It's like proper crusty now <laughs> after all that everyone's lifting on it. 
Yeah, it's a horrible bit of kit, man. But it's I pretty much the it's... first year that anyone in the UK has been using this. Whereas yeah. Yeah. internationally, it's always been sort of like a staple. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, but... I got your the Gods of Grip trainer, like maybe like a month before, a couple of months yeah. before. And I mean, it's a great like, way of training, but with that being on a fixed pin, it's, it's just different. It's yeah, hard. it is. Yeah. Do you find it easier or harder? I thought I'd find it easier. You know, yeah. with it being fixed, I can really get you like your, your finger and thumb around it. But um, I lifted more on the on the trainer, so yeah. Oh, interesting. It was, it was that it was that Monday lift. <laughs> that I know. Yeah. One was, <laughs> it's killed you. That, yeah, that should have been a week. Like that session should have been the week prior, like previous. So yeah, should have done that lift two weeks out, not a week out. But it was a so lift. let's see. Uh, event two was the eighty mil pinch, the Iron Mind blockbuster. Which yeah. you got forty four point four, and of course Thomas just got fifteen grams more. <laughs> How do you feel like you did on that? Um, that was the one event I was worried about. It was that one, yeah. Because even with the eighty mil block, the God's of Grip eighty mil block, I struggle with it. I'm, yeah, I think I broke forty five like once. Yeah, it's just I've heard David Owen talk about it before. It's like the way your hand sits on pinch blocks it's very much out like it'll very much dictate out what what you're better at so I, I think, it? yeah i feel like 60 a 60 mil blocks a lot more comfortable for my hand yeah whereas i'm really really stretching on the eight you know yeah um, but yeah but 44 I, I couldn't complain at that i was happy with that um, it's yeah it's not an easy block to lift and thomas is seen as one of like the best wide pinches in the world yeah. you know yeah yeah say he maybe gets you know three or four kilos more you're still sort of hot on his tail um the guy below you did beat you and you know there's not many other people getting 44 it looks like there's just three or four of you so you're well up there on that even if it is sort of technically a weakness for you i guess you could yeah, say yeah. um yeah and next up was the finish ball which we've just been talking about. Again, we're all kind of brand new to this and we've all been in the same boat, finding it really hard to get the technique down, isn't it? And it's um, so thumb heavy. Yeah. I'm Watch what we all kind of... Go on. Yeah, I was going to say, I think my technique was terrible on it. <laughs> watching, watching, watching videos of other people do it, I think it's a straighter arm is the way to go to, when you're yeah. lifting, lifting it. I, my arm will pretty much like that. Like ben that. Arm, which is, yeah. It's always going to give at some point, especially when you're getting up to 40 kilo. Yeah. Um, well, I think initially I arm. was always doing that as well, the same as you, because with everything else small, you kind of want to do bent arm it because you're not getting up to 50 kilos. <laughs> um. But, but yeah, it's a proper weird one. I also changed where I put my finger as well. So right. I was initially doing like oh, I don't know if you can see that part of my finger. Yeah, but yeah. I changed to do that. Yeah, that's what I would try to do. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, that's that bit is a lot stronger there. Yeah, even though it's a bit meatier, I just found that it was yeah stronger and just locked in a bit more. Yeah, that's what that was my plan. But I. Whether we did it on day, I don't know. I can't really remember now. But at least we've yeah. got a full year to train it now. I know, yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> like the, these lips, these bits of kit. It's not the first time I've used them. I've yeah. never never used any of them before. Oh, well, except yeah. the Iron Mind block that we did on the the YouTube video. But very briefly, wasn't it? Yeah, brief. like <laughs> like a couple of warm ups, and then uh, I don't really think we even got them. over forty on it. No, no, I think. My hand get out like thirty three, I think, or something yeah. like that. Um, but yeah. Now, last was the little big horn. Yeah. I'd have put this down as a very good lift for you. Uh, One hundred and one point two. Have you took the win on that in no. your category? No, I don't think so. Oh, no, uh, I think someone did four ten, didn't it? But I think breaking a hundred is a massive. You're almost at body weight. Yeah, yeah. Which I've is seen another another bit of kit that I never used before. So you 
you can you try and figure out in your head how you're going to train it. Yeah. I mean, if you're using dynamite stick, which is good, but the little big one, it's, it's got a wider base and narrow at the top, so it's yeah, it's hard to replicate unless you've actually got that. that yeah, yeah. That, and yeah. I remember your last lift. You've just got it as well, didn't you? I know. <laughs> In my head, I wanted like one ten on that. Did you actually? And bit, yeah, and I was a bit gutted. I think if I'd, uh, I think it's a more practice on it. Session on Monday that really gassed me a bit. But yeah, it's such a thumb heavy comp, and maxing yeah. out on Monday and again <laughs> again on yeah, Saturday is difficult. Just thinking back on that one. What am I doing it's just experience, it? isn't it? It's it like yeah. me and Paddy have said this about you. It's You've been so consistent with your training and you're so good at everything. It's just making sure you get everything right on the day. It is. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because I used to do powerlifting and yeah. I did get, I got, got to a decent standard doing that. Uh, and that is where you just pick three lifts and it all is down to yeah, where yeah. you pick every time to pick your, your weights and stuff. So I should be, I should be all right. But <laughs> coming down to it on day, I just get excited and think, oh, yeah, all or nothing, and it's usually again. It's like powerlifting, though. You've only you've only ever got three lifts forever, haven't you? Yeah, but yeah. With, you've yeah. got all these weird implements. It could oh, be anything, and so it is a bit more difficult to take jumps. Um, yeah, and it's also conditional based. So if it's slightly wet outside, you're going to lift a bit less. Whereas yeah. if it's a bit drier, you're going to lift a bit more. So it, it does make it more difficult. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, that is a factor. Yeah, so, yeah. Powerlifting, you're always inside. It's always fairly warm, and you're comfortable. <laughs> Pretty much. So, right, let's have a look at the overall. So, second in the under 105. I mean, I think that's pretty much where you are at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then overall, had you heard of this guy before he won Carter? No, but I looked him up. He's got to be a client. Yeah, he's a climber. He? He's, yeah. he's, like, he's under 83, isn't he, I think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's insane. That, yeah, I, watched him, I watched his video from last year. And I was, yeah, impressive stuff. Yeah, that is serious, that. Uh, and what do you reckon about little little Tiny squeaking into third smashed place? Smashed it, absolutely smashed yeah. it. I think that rolling it. handle is, the, yeah. is honestly one of the maddest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I thought he was joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we were warming up. Um, and it was like, right. Because everyone else finished at like 85 yeah. on this day. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, right, let's start at 100. And I was like, right, do you want that to be your first? If he was like, no, that'll just be a warm up. I was like, Sounds are you sure? He's like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, right, 105, 110. So yeah. 110 was his first lift. And then he went 116. And then he tried 121. <laughs> So that's great. I think he's yeah. gonna. He'll definitely shake up the uh, the grip world. He, he certainly will. The only thing that's gone against him in the overall is obviously his body weight, isn't it? Yeah, I mean he's a big lad. Yeah. Isn't he? yeah, I think he weighed in at one fifty five. Oh, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you could trim down. Because I don't. It's like um, it's like Sam. Sam was saying like. I think yeah. you get to a point where your body weight doesn't really help anymore. So that's it. He, I think he said he wants to get to one forty next year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just just one forty. I don't know. Just got to drop like what's that? <laughs> a couple of stone, no problem. Who's next on your hit list? Then who do you want to overtake next year? Well, I've got to, it's got to be Tom, right? Yeah, he's the one, isn't he? And I know Eric's been. Like he's in the, I know he's in the under ninety three, I think, but yeah, he's yeah. like a really solid competitor all the time. Yeah, it's got to. Um, I, I want to break into top ten next year. Yeah, and I think yeah. now that I know, well, I, I know what the like. I've had a feel for the implements and know. Yeah. What to how it goes? So, and, yeah, so yeah. Going to the shop. Uh, yeah. On the day, so yeah, I can train to it most. Like a more of a plan going into it yeah uh, yeah breaking one ten breaking into the top ten 
it's about goals next year. It does seem like they always seem to do the same like rough set of events. It's always like rolling handle, pinch, finish ball, vertical bar. I think the year before was the jug, wasn't it, which is a 60 mil vertical yeah. bar. So as long as we're keeping sort of the staple lifts in, we should be training for King Kong without training for King Kong sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And I think the, the beauty of King Kong is it's all single hand stuff. So you don't yeah. have like an, an axle and someone's going to run away with. Yeah. Everyone's like, it's more of an even playing field. Did you switch hands at all on anything? Yeah, I use I use my left for the the iron mind block because my left is just better at the wider grip and right for everything else. And right, yeah, which again when it got to little big one, it's uh, <laughs> another reason I didn't <laughs> lift as much as I wanted to. Just run out of range. Oh, good old little big one. But yeah, I think it was a good a good comp, good for us to sort of have a go, see where we're at, take a couple of. Obviously, let's have a look. I think Tiny obviously won the men's open. I think you came second in the 105. Let's have a look. 120. Did we have anyone? No. Um, let's get this. 93. Did we have anyone knocking about? No. Sam Unsworth, top 10. Yeah. It was difficult for him. Because he was only with one other guy, and the other guy was a lot, you know, weaker than him. Uh, so yeah. Sam was having to kind of just just go in at like whatever, and <laughs> it was a bit difficult for him. But he's got massive potential for next year. I know he said he wants to get into it a bit more. Um, yeah. he's, we said he's, he's sort of like just a bigger version of Harley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bill exactly the same. He did. Uh, he did. He Break 10, top 10, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, Harley Fuller, yeah, 10, exactly you got. Yeah. So I think big sure. shout out to the legend Carl Atkins getting 12. Yeah. He's only been doing it like half a year. <laughs> He's an absolute nutter. I mean, he was hung over as well. Yeah. Best way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 73, 74, sorry, who have we got? Joe Sterling, 7th. Yeah. Not bad for him, really, considering it's not really his main focus at the moment. No, it's, uh, it's arm wrestling and stuff, isn't it? Climbing. Yeah. Then we've got the big man, Krista Stefano, sweeping up the 66. Yeah. Won every event. <laughs> He's another beast, isn't he? He's an absolute beast. Um, it's quite climbing. There's something to it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, need to, we need to give it a go this year, don't we? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't realise there was an under-59 category as well. But a men's under-59? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a small man's category. Yeah. To be fair, the guy that won it has lifted 70 on the crusher. <laughs> nice. So, um, let's have a look at the women's. Oh, no. Where's the women? Uh, women's under 57. Don't think we had anyone in that. 63. We only have big women, don't we? <laughs> uh, 84. Yeah, Emma Hunt got the win there, which I think was probably expected. She's been dead. She's pretty much just full time grip training now. Yeah. Have you seen her yeah. doing anything recently? Um, no, I haven't actually. I no. But, uh, She's. She's really good. She's like a technique's come on a lot. She just needs to be more positive about it. Yeah. She's sure almost a bit scared. Whereas you're going massive jumps. She's yeah. doing two small jumps. <laughs> 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 uh, and then women's under 100. No one. Women's over 100. I think Laura third, which she should be pretty happy with. Yeah, yeah. It was a pin, a pinch block lift that was the best. I think she came first in the opens, yeah. Oh, awesome. So that was good for her. But I think it was a really good event. And I yeah. look forward to doing it next year and seeing if we can get number one. We finished second overall on the venues. Did you see that? I know, the thing. 
Will Strong is Will Strong is shed. Lich, that's mad, that isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't even feel like. Yeah, go on. I was going to say, considering how many venues there were, I think because I watched um, I watched the Grip Show podcast this morning. Yeah, and Eric, that like Eric uh, was on it, and he he was like, <laughs> all in all, about thirty-eight. Uh, but they summed it over two different days and stuff. Yeah, so that is a lot of people to beat. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I don't even feel like we had that many come to this. Like, we had five people not show up on the last day as well. Really? Yeah. But we'll do it. Um, there were me, you, and Tiny in the top 20 overall. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm shocked really that I managed to get there, but it's just the rolling handle that's just fucking killed me. Yeah, it's. I think I finished yeah. seven. I think my rolling handle was seventy fourth overall. Oh really? Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. Did. You pinch block medal for that. Pinch and little big horn are like decent events. Yeah. So in the finish ball, you can kind of just. I'm never really going to get over forty this year. Um, yeah, as a crusher, it's just finished me off. Yeah, but yeah, so if you got yours, I would have been doing better. But you are What's just that? an extra five kilos would have just just done nicely. Oh, yeah, I just can't do it. It was on my left as well, actually, because I think when I was with you, we did like the little test run. I got 96.6 on my right, yeah, yeah. And then when I actually did it, because my right was a bit tired, I did it on my left and got exactly the same. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. So. Plus you're training about people. I know, true that, yeah. yeah. Um, right, Ollie, I have some questions for you here. Oh, here we go. Only a couple, don't worry. <laughs> um, let me, I want to get and see if I can get them up here. Like this. There we go. First one. Thomas says, Natty, question mark. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, never touch the stuff. Cleared that one up for him. So I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna write them in. This is from Glenn. This one. While you're answering that, I'll uh, type the next yeah. one as well. Okay. Well, so, well with that with being natty, where that came from? I used to play rugby when I was younger, and then I got to quite a decent level playing rugby league. Um, so that so I never really had it when I was never thought about taking anything when I was a teenager. Yeah. Then I got injured. Started, started in the gym, like started doing powerlifting, and then I did the natural federation with the BPU, and I was continuously kept getting stronger. So yeah. I never thought, well, I don't actually need anything. Yeah, because I'm, I'm getting stronger every year. There's no point because I don't want to. I don't want to look like a bodybuilder. Yeah, I don't want to be a bodybuilder, and I like to go out at the weekend and get pissed. <laughs> that's not one of my twenties. <laughs> Loves a beer. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, there it is that I'm married and got a, a little girl, so I don't need what why would it bother now? And I'm still getting yeah. stronger doing grip, so it's not so, uh, it's showing from how much you're progressing every year, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I, as long as I'm getting stronger, I'm not bothered. Yeah, you might when we see you in the one twenties next year and you're like, I know like this, we'll, <laughs> we'll know something's going on then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll let um, you know as well. <laughs> we'll see it, don't we'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then this is Glenn Hunter. He said, dream grip feet. Uh, it's a toss-up between closing Captains of Crush number four and lifting the 104 inch oh. number, I think. Too I, big. I don't, do you know what? I don't think they're a miles off either. I think yeah. that they could be done. Which one would you like first? Um, I think realistically, I'm closer to closing the four than I am. Really? I think so. I did some grippers last night and they were flying. Yeah. Not really, it's not really, it won't be a credit card set. It's just going to be a close. Yeah. In and, there'll be no setting. But I've just, yeah. I just want to show it. I think um, you could get the 104 before a credit card. Uh, the one, Yeah, the 104 before a credit card number four close. Oh, yeah. A credit card number four is years away. Yeah. Because I never... 
it's one of them. I've always changed it just to close it. So I'd have yeah. to go back to three and start yeah. doing credit card sets and then. Yeah, we're doing a lot more grip, like gripper holds and stuff next year. And I think the credit card's like 50 mil, isn't it? Or something, it's just like 40 mil. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's you're pretty much like, I think you're, you're setting it maybe like five, five or 10 mil. And then you've got a credit card. It's not. Yeah. You might as well just I think be setting it on some grippers. Once you go in over 30 mil, it's just like big hand territory, isn't it? Because guys with small yeah. hands, it's just ridiculous. Well, it's fingertips, isn't it? You're basically trying to squeeze it from your fingertips. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. It's just horrible. Yeah. I think yeah. you're definitely closer to what Paddy's the closest in the UK. Then it's you. Yeah. yeah. I know Tiny's obviously real good at. Um, like thick bar oh, stuff, but you've just got something with that inch, and I don't know. <laughs> I surprised myself after after King Kong. Yeah. But it, yeah. But yeah. Again, it's one of them. If you, I guess, if you've had, if you've got, if you've got one at home to train with, yeah, these things come along a lot quicker. So, yeah. But, we uh, have another one from Glenn next here. Yeah. In terms of do's and don'ts, what's your biggest grip don't? <laughs> Um, well, I don't ever train to failure. Oh, nice. Unless it's a Monday yep. before King Kong. <laughs> unless, yeah, unless, yeah. Unless we've got a competition this, that weekend, then, yeah. <laughs> Balls to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> leave, leave, it, leave it all in training. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, I never... Well, I, I max out, but I'll never rep out, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. If you're yeah. training to failure, you're just blasting your CNS, aren't you? And yeah, it's almost yeah. giving you a negative feeling as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's very much like the way I trained it is very much the way I trained for powerlifting. Is in you want it to get stronger. You don't want you you don't want bigger forearms or bigger yeah. hands or wrists or whatever. You're training for strength, so yeah, train for strength, don't. If you want to yeah. do bar curly bar fifty times with twenty sets, do that. But it's not going to yeah. help you get any stronger. So don't train to failure. Yeah. yeah, you can get close, but yeah, yeah. I mean, when I say that, I mean I do max out for one rep, but I'll yeah. never, I'll never rep out. You know what I mean? I'll never do yeah. that. Yeah, because then you just you'll knock yourself up for other lifts. Yeah. And you're constantly, forearms are constantly being like sore. It's no, uh, yeah. it's no good. We have one from Seb here. Um, you know, Seb from Spartan. Yeah, yeah. You're a beast. <laughs> Again, <laughs> kind of similar question. What are the next challenges you have your eyes on? So, um, well, like the 104, Captain of the Prussian before. And then off the back of this King Kong, I would have get into top 10 next year yeah i think that's yeah. a that's a good goal goal for next year though. Um, so so i guess we could kind of go off on a bit of one here or i will anyway yeah. so next year um it's kind of like it's a bit mad really how good and next year is going to be because obviously we're planning the gods of grip trip to bone hill Right, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think I've mentioned this to you. <laughs> it's August, um, Bone Hill contest in Finland. Me and Laura went to that in 2019, I think, first. And yeah. it's just mega. It's obviously all the big guys there, like Arto, Harry, Tommy. Um, <clears throat> and we'll take like a little team of us and go over and do Bone Hill on the Saturday. And then we're going to do Finland versus the UK on the Sunday. <laughs> as well <laughs> yeah so that's like a big one it's obviously grip wars will be back next year as well yeah um so i'm guessing you'll be keen to do that oh yeah and then what else would be probably with the grip league is going international next year so i'm guessing you'll be in that to defend your title um so they're really probably the three big ones for next year as well as king kong aren't they yeah, yeah. So, what are you planning? Anything else, or just kind of? No, I was going to stick to the the main like 
competitions, obviously. Yeah. I've got to grip leave. Yeah. Because you know, I want to win that again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I think Paddy will be in next year. Tiny's going to actually show up. Do you know why he didn't show up? Go on. Because he injured his finger. Really? That, that's it. Yeah, he just didn't tell anyone because he was few. He said he was that fuming. <laughs> <laughs> but, I think if they Paddy and Tiny and you, I think uh, that'd be a good, a good battle. It's a good little combination that. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's pretty much. It's going to be well. Who we're going to ask? We were going to ask Tiny, Paddy, you, Sam, and me to go to Finland. I think that's like (laughs) quite a heavyweight squad. That (laughs) it's a lot of power. (laughs) That's a a lot of power. Yeah. Um, But right, let's go on to the next one. This was from. Oh, Logan. Sorry. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Logan, what's your weakest, not supposed to say, area, and how are you improving it? Well, I think, well, there's my wide pinch. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's what I'm focusing on. Yeah. Improving at the minute. Um, so I would have done a lot of, I think it'd be American, a bit three inch sacks in the men. Obviously, yeah. eight, it's eight enough sacks in the we've got. Yeah. Um, I want to be getting there near 120. And that should help your blobs as well, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're pretty good at them anyway, but <laughs> yeah, because it's the um, the sacks. I only really trained it for grip wars last year, yeah. and I haven't really touched it since. But I'm thinking I need to. That's something I need to focus on. And there's obviously 80 more block. I need that up near 50, 50k. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just gonna be a case. Of best way to improve it's by training with it. So. But, and you're That's probably one right. of the best for consistency with your training, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'd say anyway. Yeah, I'd like to. I'll pick a couple of things and focus on them, and yeah. then. Is it, it's a, it's a strange one because I think without to, I never really write anything down. I just go off how I feel. <laughs> yeah, which is but it works, weird. doesn't it? It works, yeah. But I don't know how to describe it to someone else. They'd be like, "I don't make any You're sense." Insane. Yeah, because yeah. um, I was thinking about this. Like, if I were to do someone a grip program, like how I train, yeah, they'd probably look at it and be like, "I'm not doing that. It's just random." <laughs> A waste of time, but it works for me. So it's difficult to find what works for everyone. Like, um, yeah. I was struggling with doing my training basically, and I do. I like planning out my little programs and stuff. But if I do it myself, I was finding that I just don't do it. Where Sam was like, "I'll do your programming for you, and we'll help you." So big fat muscle now is like getting me on WhatsApp like a little plan every day. Uh, like, oh, oh, let's, nice. just, let's give a little example here. Of one, um, no excuses now. Got, got so, like he said, elite six warm up 30 mil sets, then blobs, and then a bit of inch work, and then some rolling handle. Because obviously, I need to work on that. I want, yeah. I'd like to get the same as you. I think getting over 200 pounds RGC is like the next little milestone yeah. for me. Um, probably lifting up a massive blob and just need to work on my thick bar because it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not crap. It's just not at the level that it needs to be. Yeah. Um, I but, think any rolling handle work, and then obviously you've got Axel as well, aren't you? So yeah, true that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Axel's going to be in a couple of comps next year as well. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I feel I like it's just that, everyone yeah. loves it. Yeah, I think Axel holds the good for you. Ooh, how would you do it? In a rack, yeah, it's got to be a rack, hasn't it? Yeah, I'd do it just below lockout, but don't let it touch your legs. I like, like that, yeah, because everybody could you could have it for like a minute resting on your thighs, I'd, I'd be yeah, yeah, and same because, um, oh, 
Andy Bolton used to do it, but he used to do it just the uh, few inches off the floor, just lift it up. Yeah, yeah. And that's a good one because that is just what, pure fun. What about that little suitcase saxing you did the other day? Two of them. I know that was, that just came into my. Into, I thought that's going to be a right little exercise. That. It but, uh, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> what did you like? Forty on it. There were two. There were thirty. So it was two fifteen calibrated plates, and it's fifteen kilos. So forty-five. <laughs> yeah. You know. Jesus Christ, that could be one a little Saxon suitcase hold for time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus good. Christ, it's good though. Actually, uh, like you say, you can really get your wrist into it as well. Yeah, it is very wristy. The last question, pretty much, we've already answered it. Was yeah. Jason plans for twenty twenty four? I had one for you as well, actually. Ollie. Yeah. Would you ever consider going up to the one twenties? Um. That's a lot because of weight to pack on. Though, that, yeah. The way, I, yeah, it is. But the way I'll put it to you is, it's going to be difficult to compete with guys that are in the one twenty when they're like fifteen kilos heavier than you. So, especially on like rolling handle and axle and stuff. So yeah. by you gaining like an extra ten kilos, yeah, I feel like. Do you think? Do you think you'd be more competitive on like a higher level overall? Um. I probably would. Yeah. I probably would. I might, I'd have to. I'd, I, do you know what? I've never thought about it. Yeah. Because at a minute I sit around 105. Yeah. I you're you're really a good 105, though, aren't you? You're like yeah. to the brim of 105, kind of thing. Yeah. I'm not but like I, overly fat or anything. I ain't, got, I ain't got to cut down massively. Yeah. It's just like drop a kilo and I'm, I'm in. Kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. But, yeah, I'd have to be at one fifteen, wouldn't I? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would. I think that's be that'd be yeah. where you would. You'd kind of cruise at one fifteen and then do like a little mini bulk <laughs> almost before yeah. a comp kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. I was I'd just going to see more cardio though. I think. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I couldn't even imagine what that being at that weight is like. I was just going to see if I could find. Um. find the results from <clears throat> this year's here we go let me remove that. you know I'm still trying to figure out how to use this thing Getting there. Um, right So this is the world, is this the most recent one? I don't think it is, but <clears throat> basically I think the, the top two categories are like where all the big boys are, isn't it? So obviously the open you've got like Carl, Luke, Jason, Paddy obviously competed in that. And their body weight is all huge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Whereas the under 125s, it's kind of mixed. And I feel like you've got potential in there. <laughs> but do you, yeah. do you think you need the extra body weight to get sort of the bigger lifts? I think, well, I axle deadlift and stuff. Yeah. Weight, weight moves weight. It's yeah, yeah. Easy, easy it is, so. Yeah. Uh, in that respect, yeah. I guess it'd work. I guess it's the same with Saxon, really. Yeah. I extra bulk on. For those kind of lifts, it's definitely going to help. Yeah, even for rolling handle, I think carrying a little bit of extra weight, you're going to be able to just lift a bit more easier, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, winter's coming up, so uh... <laughs> maybe next year we con conquer the 105. Yeah, get to the top of that, and then 2026, year of the bulk. Year of the bulk. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie comes out just. 119 kilos, absolutely <laughs> full to the brim. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> Comes to conquer. Why not? We'll see how, yeah. Because yeah. I've never, do you know what? I've never thought about it, so. No, I just thought I'd put it out to you and just see. Yeah. I mean, it's it an would, interesting one, though. Thinking about it, it's, it would help. Yeah. I mean, I know I said, like, 
when you put too much body weight on it, you, you get to a limit, don't you? I don't think it really yeah, helps. Yeah. But I think in this respect, it probably would. Yeah, it probably would. And what are your what are your long term goals for this sport that we're in? Take over the world. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Just get as strong as I can. Yeah. Do the best. Yeah. Why not? No. Well, I think you've got the you've got like the attitude for it and you've got the determination with your training. It's just keeping going, isn't it? And getting to the one twenty twenty six. That's to eat a few more pies, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think that, uh, it's an interesting one that but I think you're right what you're doing. It's like, let's see if we can get, break top 10 next year overall, win your category, yeah. then you're flying then, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Take it from there, I think. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Do you have anything to ask me or anything? Uh, no, not <laughs> oh, top of my head, I, I haven't thought of any questions. Uh, what can I ask you? Um, well, where do you want to take God's grip? Oh, wow. Well, I think it should keep going what we've kind of done this year. Like, I've really enjoyed yeah. um, how it's gone this year. Like, I enjoy running the competitions and kind of yeah. getting more people involved that I mean, we may be a little bit scared to sort of do grip competitions. Like, yeah. we want to keep the big ones big for the serious people. But then we yeah. get the smaller competitions for people that are brand new to it that can just come and learn and have a bit of fun as well because yeah, yeah. i think people get a bit put off and think oh i might not be able to do very well or i might not be able to lift enough so it's kind of getting those people involved in it and seeing that it's actually fun and you don't need to be good to sort of have fun at it you can just come and tit about and lift a nipple and you know yeah. stuff like that that's the beauty of it isn't it it's yeah fun. and just doing more team events like taking our little team to finland and doing more events abroad and even doing like a stone tour and um, you know go to scotland get like a load of us to go up and all lift the dinny stones stuff like that i think it'd be really good yeah that would be cool it's just like we'll be able to make a load of cool content and it just gets more eyes on grip and gets more people into it but as well as us just having fun yeah because it's, it's it has got a lot big a lot bigger yeah since you started yeah that's, well that's, that's it we just keep trying to get more people involved in it and just keep growing it and yeah i've almost got the event schedule ready for next year it's pretty much like one a month and it's just mad yeah that's mad yeah. do you ever think we'd, we'd um obviously they do arm with the usa arnold classic and then they have an arnold over here yeah they? yeah but, well we tried to this year but we didn't get approval until five days before <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I was pestering the guy. Um, I think it was early this year, and I was asking him for ages, and we basically just wanted a big open space yeah. to come and host a contest. And then after the contest, people could just come and lift all the dumbbells and stuff. We were basically going to do blobs, a blob medley, an inch medley, a Saxon medley, an Axel medley, and just you know have a huge space and a contest with like 10 people and then after that, anyone could just come and, you know, yeah, yeah, have a bit of fun. But yeah, it was like five days before, and I was like, we've got nothing <laughs> ready, kind of thing, you know, because yeah. so they were actually going to give yeah. the, us the space for free as well, which is really? the maddest thing. Yeah, um, yeah. So next year I mean, we'll definitely do that. I think that'd be good. Cause that, that definitely puts it on the international stage. You know? Yeah. Again, it's like. We first did the expos to try and sell stuff, but I just don't enjoy like doing that kind of thing. I like having people more involved in it, you know, coming yeah. to try things out and getting them involved in the sport rather than trying to sell them like a bag of chalk or something. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's yeah. more fun. It, it makes more of an event of it. And I think that's a better way to get people involved in it. Yeah. I mean, when, when I used to, Expos when I were younger, it's like it was always more fun doing the uh, the challenges that people would, yeah, you know, there's some there's, there's some guys to do like say a bag of chokes, like go oh, buy this, one. Buy I know. that's it, yeah. It's we've done it once, never again, 
Yeah. But just yeah, but definitely host like an event. I don't know what we'd call it. But I've tried to message Ricardo and he's a bit funny about it all, really. It's his, his little thing, though, isn't it? His That's it. Baby, I guess. Yeah. So. yeah. So it'd probably be under Grip Sport International Rules kind of thing, which are the same as ours anyway. Yeah. Well, but yeah, that's. we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining me anyway. Well, it's been good to get your thoughts on your performance this year because it was really cool to have you here, just seeing you do all the lifts, and it's good to see your progression this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you carry on next year. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll get stronger. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've got any more questions for Ollie, just put them in the comments. I'm, I'm sure we'll have him on again at some point yeah. when Paddy's here. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Sweet. Cheers.